Well, it's a story that has our attention tonight. Hawaii shark experts are close to revealing startling new secrets about the ocean predators, and now they have the video to back it up. KITV4's Catherine Cruz and photographer Stu Ishikawa recently did some shark sleuthing with a team from the Hawaii Institute for Marine Biology, and she's here to share that great experience. Catherine? Well, you know, you can't help but be terrified and thrilled when you get to touch a tiger shark. The risks are high, but the rewards are too. A team of University of Hawaii researchers sets out from Coconut Island. They head a few miles offshore to check the lines they baited with fish in waters up to 300 feet deep. Their goal catch sharks, tag them, and try to learn more about them. Carl Meyer figures he's tagged more than 1,000 sharks of all kinds in the last 20 years. We have learned things in the last few months that we had no idea were going on in the waters off Kaneohe Bay. Advances in technology, including the use of point of view critter cams, are now providing new clues about shark behavior. On this particular morning, conditions seem ideal for snaring a shark. An earlier trip in the week yielded a catch of 10 sharks. Today, most of the 53 hooks are strangely empty. That is, until we get to the line set out the furthest from land. The line has been pulled together by a large shark. There's often a tangle and a big shark associated with it. So if it's still on the line, we're going to have to figure out how to secure the big shark and deal with the bundle of mono at the same time in a safe manner. What we find will push this crew to the limit. We have a tiger shark on the line. Can't tell how big it is at this point, but it's probably a medium-sized animal. But medium is relative. When this shark measures out at a bit more than 12 feet, more than half the size of our 20-foot long boat. Spinning again. It takes a few attempts to get the shark where they want him. No one wants to see any lost limbs. I don't want him spinning up where he can bite the gear. Looking pretty good. And then success. Hang on, hang on. Okay, I got the tail rope on. Turning the shark upside down gets it immobile. Then the team can get the animal tagged and attach devices to learn how they move and how they track their prey. An animal with a tag similar to this swam from Oahu to Mexico and was captured by Mexican fishermen who then sent us the tag back. And we've recently been analyzing 20 years of mark recapture data, which has allowed us to determine how fast these tiger sharks grow, which is actually very fast. So they grow from a pup to 12 feet in length in seven years on average, and the really fast growing individuals will reach that size in only four or five years. Like it or not, this shark's going to spill some secrets. We want to know why it does what it does. Scientists seize this opportunity to get into the shark's mouth. The concept is to link the bacteria they find on its teeth to where the shark's been. You might be able to take a shark that you catch. Swab the bacteria and say, yeah, this one's been swimming along the east coast of Oahu, or this one's been to Waianae. A move like this may be out of your comfort zone. Yeah, I'm going to try and open his mouth up and swab it and rub it around. But it's all in a day's work for this crew. On a previous trip, they attach a small video camera, along with an accelerometer, a device to track how a shark swims. The time release package can hang onto a shark's fin for up to three days. The whole thing comes free from the shark, floats up to the surface. And then we use this satellite and VHF transmitter to go out and find the floating package and recover it from the ocean. We can combine information from these different instruments and get really deep new insights into the behavior and ecology of sharks. That goes for all sharks, not just tigers. This shark stealth cam video reveals a predator's point of view. The hunt is on. We've got some really cool stuff back from those devices and we need to publish that in uh, in scientific journals before we can make it public but we've got some really exciting stuff that we're going to be showing people in the near future viral video in the making shark secrets revealed soon Catherine Cruz KITV 4 news